is difficult for her to talk. She is the mother of the child Muhammad Salah who was killed by the Israeli occupation forces in the village of Al Khadr near Bethlehem in occupied Palestine. He was loving me much. I'm missing him much. All our life changed. I came back and found him dead. He was very kind. Here was the end of the story of Muhammad, the story that was full of life. He was a full of life child. His family loved him and loved his humor. He was close to me. We used to have fun together. He was playing with me all the time. May his soul rest in peace. He used to play all the time. He was very funny. When I was sleeping, he used to wake me up. He was really a funny boy. Muhammad used to enjoy every minute of his time, biking, riding his horse. He was fond of his horse. He had a very strong personality. He leaves an imprint everywhere he goes. He used to bring people's attention. He used to play with his friends in the neighborhood. He had a horse. He liked to wash his horse and play with him. I cry and still cry for his loss. It's not easy to lose your child. I cry when I see his bicycle. I collapse. Hamad's friends miss him much and their life today is no longer like before his death. He used to come to the neighborhood when he finishes his school. We used to take a breakfast together. We used to come here at night to make fire for warming. We used to go out together and to play and make fire for warming. Muhammad's school seat is empty today. His classmates bought his photo to remember him. His death shocked them all. Muhammad's death was shocking to all of us. It was painful for us and for the students, especially his classmates in the seventh grade. The school is missing him. We feel that the school today is not normal. It's very sad. He was dreaming of becoming an engineer. He liked to become a mechanic. February 22 of this year in the village of Al Khadr near the Israeli separation wall, which surrounds the village, Israeli occupiers, pilots, penetrated the body of Muhammad and ended all of his dreams in life. We heard fire bullet shots, then a stunning grenades to keep the people away. At that moment, Muhammad was bleeding, surrounded by four Israeli occupation soldiers. They were able to abduct him, but their decision was to shoot to kill him. The Palestinian forensic medicine confirmed that Muhammad was shot to death. Muhammad suffered one shot with a fire bullet down his back on the left side. The bullet penetrated the right side of his abdomen and cut the upper artery. Some shrapnel penetrated his intestinal tract too. Had he got instant first aid, he could have survived the injury. We couldn't save him because he was surrounded by Israeli occupation soldiers. The video and the medical staff confirmed that Muhammad died when he was shot, as his injury was very serious. That is the end of the story of Muhammad, who loved life, but Israel deprived him of enjoying it.